In this video, we're going to continue looking at related rates, and this time we're going to be doing a cone problem. Now, a cone problem does have an extra couple of steps because the formula for the volume of a cone has too many variables. So take a moment and read the problem. Thank you for reading the problem. So we're going to start off with what it is we're trying to find. And in this case, what we're trying to find is the rate at which the water level is rising when the water is one meter deep. Well, what we have is an inverted cone. So here's our cone. And there's water inside of the cone. And the water is rising. Uh, so our cone has a height and a radius. And our water has a depth with a radius. Now they told us that the base radius is 3, so we know that we have a 3 for our radius and that the height of our cone is 9. We do not know the radius at the water level and we do not know the depth at the water level. Depth is also known as height. So what we're trying to find is dh dt when h is 1. What we know, our known rate of change, is that the water is being pumped into the tank, so it's increasing, which makes it positive, at 2, meters per, uh, two cubic meters per minute. So dv dt is going to be 2 cubic meters per minute. Now our formula for the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. Now what you'll notice is that there are three variables instead of two variables. That's what's going to create a little extra work for us in this problem. We need to go back to our picture and we need to remember how to do similar triangles from geometry. So what we have is we have a large triangle which has a 3 and a 9 and then we have a smaller triangle which has an R and an H. So if we go ahead and make a proportion, R goes with 3 as H goes with 9. That will allow us to solve for one of the two variables. Now notice since they gave us H in the problem, we want to keep the H. So if we cross multiply, we get 9R is 3H. So R is 1 third H. We can now adjust our formula by replacing R with 1 third H. So notice R was replaced with 1 third H. We can simplify that one-third times pi times one-ninth h cubed, or our volume now is one-twenty-seventh pi h cubed. We now have two variables just like all the other examples. So now let's take the derivative. We have dv dt is equal to three-twenty-seventh pi h squared dh dt. Now that we've got our derivative, we can start plugging in. Well, we know that dv dt is 2. We know that 3 27ths can reduce to 1 9th pi. We know our h is 1, and we're trying to find dh dt. If we kill off the fraction, multiply the 9 to the other side, we get 18 is equal to pi dh dt. So dh dt is 18 pi, and our units are meters per minute. 